Okay, so in this last uh, video on the LiDAR analysis, I just wanted to show some examples of visualizing the data in 3D and ArcGIS Pro. So I've created a scene here. If you're not sure how to do that, you just go to Insert, New, and then underneath the here, click Local or Global Scene. We're going to do a local scene. Um, we'll start from scratch. Let's do local again. I'm going to shut this one off so it doesn't slow us down. And then I want to go in here and add in our last data set. So just adding in that last data set. And there it draws in the footprints, and we can try to visualize this in 3D. So I'm going to zoom in a little so we can actually see what's going on. Um, and also so it doesn't get bogged down by trying to load in too much data. So I'm going to go into some areas where there actually is some elevation and some above ground features. Okay, cool. So there we go. So let's now turn from the plan view to off and then zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so here we can see um, zoom in a little, we can see the trees, we can see building tops. Um, here's a fairly large building there. And then over here, we're getting into like a forest stand. So it provides a nice 3D representation of the environment. Um, that might be like a fence row or something. Kind of see there's like an elevated surface there. Um, if we wanted, we can maybe do, let's turn on the imagery. That might help us see what things are. We can flip off the LiDAR for now. Oh, okay, never mind. That's a building rooftop, and you can kind of see there must be some, like, units on the roof there that you can see. Oh, yeah, it's obvious now. You can kind of see the drop-off there. It takes a little bit of getting used to to kind of work in this environment, but obviously there's a lot of information here that you can, that, that it can be very useful. Let's go out here into the floodplain. So here we're seeing, hey, there's a, obviously a building rooftop there. Note there aren't really returns on the side of the building, which makes sense because this is, you know, a LiDAR that scans from above. So you might get some stray ones that kind of hit at an angle. But for the most part, you're not getting a lot of returns off the side. But it does seem to do a pretty good job at doing things like characterizing the trees and whatnot. Um, when we go up here, we can see the slope. And the trees on the slope. Oop. There I ended up below the ground. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and they were kind of zoomed out. You can kind of see the three distribute 3D distribution of the point data there. Um, let's just play around with changing the symbology a bit and then we'll just leave it at that. So we'll do in our 3D layer we have our last data. So we'll do properties. Um, actually, if let's say if we just wanted to show let's just do singles let's do get off all this let's do ground or unassigned and either first of many or single returns and hit okay so that should get rid of a lot of our like multiple returns just have to know, regenerate that let's zoom in a little bit If you're uh, listening, you may hear my computer struggling with this a bit. Those are all the first returns only. First of many or single returns. Oh, never mind. Here they come. I thought that seemed a little thin. So those are your first returns. Okay, we got a, like, a lot of density out here in the valley bottom because there's nothing to break the returns up um, we get kind of a reduction up in the in the tree canopy there and then let's just look at change of the symbology so right now it's elevation let's change it to um, intensity instead
And you can also make the, let's make the point symbol a little bit bigger. The bigger you make the point symbol, it almost starts looking like it's going to fill the entire space. Oh, that's too big. <laughs> let's turn that down a little bit. So there we've got our first return data symbolized based on the return intensity. Let's go back here into the town maybe. And let's just turn it a little so we can kind of look straight down on it or at an angle. And there you can kind of see the differences in return intensity. So obviously there's a parking lot and a building rooftop and the grasses surrounding it. So again, this is 3D data, so it is nice to look at it and visualize it in 3D. There are also options for doing like editing in 3D too, if you want to like reclassify points or delete points or whatever.